Well, what we have here are the main ingredients for guacamole. Very, very delicious dip, uh, condiment, what have you. Um, very nutritious for you. The way we're going to make this today is we're starting off with three um, ripe, jalo uh, ripe, three ripe jalapenos as well as uh, three large avocados one medium sized tomato uh, fresh cilantro uh, three cloves of garlic and one onion and then we'll also incorporate uh, that lime you see there uh, some Redmond salt the natural salt that we like to use so much in our recipes and then we'll, we'll salt to taste actually if it needs more lime We'll add some more lime, we'll add some more salt. But uh, to get you started, basically all you do is peel these avocados, get the, the avocado nice and chopped up, get your tomato diced, your jalapenos diced, your uh, garlic diced, and then with your cilantro, peel the leaves uh, from the actual stems. You don't want a lot of stems of the cilantro plant in your avocado because it's not going to not going to taste as good so mainly what you're after is the leaves of the cilantro so we're going to get this all cut up and incorporated and show you uh, again how we do our avocado dish you know one of those fine little details that is involved with making uh, avocado uh, or guacamole is peeling the or not peeling but tearing the leaves off the cilantro and really you might think well I'll just throw the whole thing in there and, and cut it all up but the the stems tend to be a little bit bitter uh, it's okay if you get a little bit of stems in there but uh, this process right here that I'm showing you of just tearing the leaves off uh, really goes a long way uh, to making a, a quality product it's been suggested that cilantro uh, can actually help with the removal of heavy heavy metals from your body uh, another step in the process of making guacamole that requires some love along with just the plucking of the leaves off of the cilantro is the chopping up of the cilantro to incorporate it in the guacamole and what I usually do is I kinda just bunch this up against the knife and then chop down you have to be careful you don't want to get your fingers down in there but just chop down and you can see it starts to uh, really chop it up nice and fine and that'll uh, get that guac or that cilantro flavor all through your guacamole which is really uh, nice there's just something about the flavor of cilantro that is really uh, excellent in the guacamole once you have all the leaves plucked from your guacamole or from your cilantro I'm sorry you want to dice this up uh, so that it uh, spreads out well once you mix it up in the guacamole I think if you if you cut it up like this it really helps to uh, disperse the flavor of the cilantro within the guacamole so take this added step and it'll really improve the taste uh, of the dip the next step we're going to do is we're going to chop up our jalapenos and our garlic and and I'm going to put a little bit of onion uh, in a portion of this I particularly don't care for the onion in the guacamole although traditional guacamole uh, calls for onion uh, so I'm actually chopping up this uh, for my wife's portion she'll uh, I'm going to incorporate some of this onion into her uh, share of the guacamole there you go just like that I like onion for some reason just don't care for it in my guacamole and we want to take and put a tomato in there so just cut this tomato down 
like so. Helps to have a nice sharp knife. Uh, the knife I'm using isn't in particular one that you'd want to use for this type of chore, but it works fairly well. I've got it pretty sharp. Use a diamond stone here in the kitchen to get that blade nice and sharp. You want to be careful with your fingers. Uh, so just cut this down. And then once you have it like this, and turn the tomato over like this and just chop. And then you'll have nice little pieces of tomato. And watch your thumb. So, there you have the tomato. Also like a good amount of lime juice in my guacamole. So, I'm going to put at least one lime. And once I get all this mixed up, if one lime doesn't seem to do it for me, I'll go ahead and cut up another one and squeeze that into there as well. Lime also helps to preserve the the avocado for your leftovers. If you put a, a good amount of lime in the avocado, you'll notice that it doesn't go uh, doesn't turn brown uh, as fast as it normally would. One of the things I recommend you do also uh, with your avocados is this little portion that has the stem. Make sure you remove that before you start cutting in. Uh, to the avocado but because a lot of times that stem if you slice into there you'll get portions of that in intermixed with your avocado and it'll cause it to be bitter so you'll want to remove that before you proceed to cut them open so what I like to do is just take the avocado and cut down the center and then roll this over so that the knife blade is running along the seed and then have the avocado like so then you can remove the seed you can take your knife and just kind of score the flesh of the avocado all the way down to the um, to the skin and once you get that done you can go in a cross uh, pattern through the through the avocado and then what you do is you want to put this in a separate bowl because if you put that either you do this first uh, I proceeded to cut up all the vegetables first and then do the avocados but if you do this first and mash this up and then do uh, your vegetables uh, it'll make it'll help out with the consistency because you want your jalapenos and you want your tomatoes uh, to retain uh, some of their shape that you see. You don't want to mash this all up with this and then have a mashed up tomato, mashed up jalapeno uh, consistency. You want uh, some of the texture of the jalapenos and the tomatoes and the garlic and and the onions and so forth. Uh, to be there when you scoop into the dip. So what we'll do is we'll empty all the avocados into here. We'll mash this up and then we'll incorporate that along with our salt uh, into our main uh, dish. Another option that you can use uh, besides the slicing is just to take a spoon and to spoon this out of the of the peel. It's pretty effective probably more effective than the than the cutting and the mashing up of the of the avocado but a lot of times I'll do that at work when I don't have a uh, a spoon I'll just cut that avocado like so down the center and run the knife through it a couple of times and then just squeeze the excess out um, just due to uh, the expediency of the of the of the chore so but again you can just whoops take that out put your seed over there and just scoop it out with a spoon and make sure that you don't get any of the of the peel because the peel okay and this is where your potato masher comes in 
you just want to uh, mash this up into a really uh, creamy consistency. Take this up, get this nice and uh, mashed up again. Potato masher works really well. And what helps also is if you make sure and uh, pick the right avocados. Um, the ripeness of the avocado is essential in this uh, making a good product. Probably could have used a bigger bowl. Um, like I said, I probably could have done this first. It probably would have been easier, but just got ahead of myself. But no worries, just take this little extra step. And it'll really, really make a lot of difference. And so for our last step, what you want to do is just incorporate all the avocado into your tomatoes, jalapenos, garlic, cilantro, and tomatoes. That all incorporated in there price of avocados we want to make sure that we get uh, as much of this out of here as we can I think these were about a dollar twenty a piece today so uh, we take that in consideration with the cilantro which was 50 cents um, the tomato which was probably another 50 cents the onion which was maybe a 25 cents the garlic another 25 cents probably got about five or six dollars just into this uh, dish itself and so you just want to mix this in really well uh, get all that cilantro in there get it nice and incorporated and you're gonna have a fantastic And please, if you like our videos, please like us, please subscribe to us, and look forward to some of our other videos.